Hello everyone. This video is going to be a tour of the few bookshelves I have, the background of most of my videos. And of course that's going to change. That's one of the reasons I want to uh, record this tour. Let's start from the top right shelf. Here I have a few Signet Classics. I really like these books, the design of them. They, they have a good feel to them, uh, nice to hold and really light thin pages. The ones I have, uh, this a nice edition of biblical stories, a retelling of uh, the Bible stories, and then Robinson Crusoe, Moby Dick, and Great Expectations, and two of Mark Twain's adventure novels. Some more fiction, The Old Man and the Sea, Frankenstein, The Brothers Karamazov, a book on photography by Roland Barthes, Camera Lucida, or Lucida, Hard Times by Charles Dickens, a book of essays on reading, on literature, the first essay, which is really nice, why I read the classics. It's a good motivator of uh, classic reading classic works. Two existential French existentialist novels or novellas, The Age of Reason by Sartre and Camus de Fall. 100 Years of Solitude, Marquez, uh, Austin's Persuasion. Uh, another book on photography, Suzanne Sontag on photography. These two are uh, more or less in the same genre of writing. I prefer Sontag's book especially uh, as, a, as a first book of this type. Steinbeck, East of Eden, uh, two volumes of short stories, Milan Kundera, Identity, is a short novel, um, a selection of Haruki Murakami's like, segments of writing related to desire, Byun Chol Han, a short book called The Agony of Eros. Uh, this was given to me by my friend Peter Lindbergh. Uh, the Discourses of Epictetus, it's a questionable edition. I think this was uh, printed by somebody's uh, own printer in the basement. Uh, Daniel Robinson, Aristotle's Psychology. It's a good book, uh, published in the 80s, I think. Uh, two books on phenomenology, De Morale, uh, The Idea of Phenomenology, Husserlian Exemplarism. This is a collection of essays in uh, honor of Herbert Spiegelberg, uh, who is a, an important figure in, in historical studies of phenomenology. Bauman's Liquid Modernity, uh, Cruel Theory, Sublime Practice by Glenn Wallace and colleagues, Philosophy of Social Science, Alexander Rosenberg, Jürgen Habermas, Knowledge and Human Interest. I got this because it was highly recommended in that very short introduction to uh, Continental Philosophy by Simon Critchley. Two books by the great Jan Elster, I would especially recommend, if you don't know Jan Elster's works, uh, I would especially recommend beginning with this one, Explaining Social Behavior. This is the third edition of this book, uh, published in 2015. The first edition was published in 1989, and this is a uh, expanded version of that. And in fact, it's this is such a dense text that uh, I went back and began with that first edition. And that, that first edition is titled and nuts and bolts uh, in social science, I think. Plato, uh, three works of Gabriel Marcel, really nice, readable, down-to-earth um, writer, existentialist philosopher, who I was introduced to thanks to Greg Sadler, Greg Sadler's works and videos. A book in, the, in this history of social science, uh, I mean, social psychology, the making of modern social psychology by Sergei Moscovici and Ivana Markova. Uh, Eric Fromm's The Same Society, a uh, relatively less interesting and engaging uh, introduction to literary theory. This is an older version. I think it's the fourth edition. I think by now edition uh, eight or nine should be out. Henri Lefebvre, Everyday Life in the Modern World. Um, Adam Phillips, nice psychoanalytic writer. This one is his, his work Missing Out. Some Heidegger. Hegel's Phenomenology, Arendt's The Problem of Politics, uh, Daniel Dennett. I know these, uh, because I have a small collection of books, they don't really, they are not organized, uh, arranged in any meaningful way. Uh, other than this book by Dennett, I have all the other Dennett works on my Kindle. Uh, these are samples of a BBC uh, radio show, uh, the Rife Lectures, the sample of, uh, I think, usually selected from the first lecture on each series. So each, each chapter is by a different author. Speaking of sample, this is a 
first three chapters of George Kelly's uh, major work, The Psychology of Personal Construct. These three chapters are packaged, repackaged, and this one is titled A Theory of Personality. Francois Laruelle, um, for me, important, important person. Uh, this is Principles of Non-Philosophy and Philosophy and Non-Philosophy. This I was introduced to him by, uh, thanks to Glenn Wallace. Let's move down. Um, some small volumes. I've talked about this in a previous video, Albert Camus, Create Dangerously. Henry Miller, The World of Sex. Discourses on art. Uh, these discourses uh, were given by the artist, the painter, Joshua Reynolds, uh, to the Academy of, the Royal Academy. Uh, they are, you know, they're interesting. Regard, they, they address topics like content, form, style, um, training of artists. Uh, they were delivered in the, like, I think, last two decades of the 18th century. And four short books by Alain Badiou and co some co-authors occasionally. This is my favorite. And after this, uh, I enjoyed uh, this one, The True Life. And this is number three for me uh, with Zizek, Philosophy in the Present. It's a, it contains a nice summary of Badiou's philosophy. And this one was a little bit confusing. Nature of Poetry, The Emerging Mind. This uh, is a full, full version of the lectures, the right lecture given by Ramachandran which I already mentioned in this volume. Jacques Lacan, uh, seminar number seven, Ethics of Psychoanalysis. John Bowlby, Attachment Style uh, Theory. Uh, Melanie Klein, Fernando Pessoa, The Book of Disquiet. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, in, somewhere here in the beginning of this book, he mentions that uh, something that makes him special, the author. Uh, from the perspective of that author, Pessoa is writing these notes. And that author claims that he has no unconscious. <laughs> so I put him next to Freud. This is the, the unconscious, the major essay in this volume. These two actually have a lot of overlap. It's a few overlaps. Um, this would be the more comprehensive, inclusive one. A good, good introduction to Freud. Uh, again, collected by Adam Phillips, the same Adam Phillips of uh, the Missing Out. Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, this one. Um, Two works by Kierkegaard, The Present Age, The Works of Love, yeah, Portable Nietzsche, Joan Didion, Blue Nights. This was a promising uh, little book, but I wasn't very impressed by it. This is a very good introduction to the control theory approach to psychology, general psychology, from, a, from the perspective of perceptual control theory, which was uh, introduced and developed by William Powers. Merleau-Ponty's Structure of Behavior, it's a Cantonese learning book. Uh, three light, very light books on philosophy. One of them was uh, Buddhist, Buddhism, not philosophy, Buddhist philosophy. Uh, one of these three was given to me by my mother-in-law. Charles Taylor collected a collection of philo uh, essays uh, on philosophy and human sciences. All right, let's move to the right. Okay, here we have Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way. So it was, used to be an important book for me. Uh, two copies of my book. It's a secondary source on Heidegger and Derrida. Three books on writing. Stephen King, uh, Anne Lamott. This one is a really nice uh, introduction. I mean, spiritual guidance <laughs> related to writing. Uh, on writing well, among these three, this is the most technical one relatively dry, but also very useful and readable. Jonathan Haidt, uh, Harari, Francis Fukuyama, um, Nassim Nicholas Taleb. I have the other works. I read uh, Black Swan and Antifragile on my Kindle. I haven't read this one yet. Thinking Fast and Slow, uh, still important. Uh, has some problems, but still an important work. What do you say after you say hello by Eric Byrne, the author of Game Spiel Play. Two books by Malcolm Gladwell, two books by Terry Eagleton. Peter Berger's Introduction to Sociology in, or Invitation to Sociology. This is the same Peter Berger of the two authors who wrote Social Construction of Reality. Francis Fukuyama's Identity. Uh, if you have to read a Fukuyama book, pick uh, this one uh, or the, uh, the second one. This is a part of a two volume project on politics, political theory. This one has a lot of overlaps with a book by Eric Fromm, uh, the 
book that came before the Saint Society called Escape from Freedom. And I prefer to read from Ben Fukuyama. Uh, introduction to Critical Inst Introduction to Deconstruction by Christopher Norris and uh, an edited version of a co collection of uh, Peirce's work, Charles Sanders Peirce. Moving up, uh, these are works from Danish psychologists, Danish general psychology. Niels Engelstad, Jens Maman, um, and this one is Ivan Ravenslov. Uh, relevant to psychology, this one is actually called uh, Attempted Solution to a Fundamental Psychological Problem, even though the studies here are on stickleback, uh, the fish. It says in general psychology in the late 80s, uh, including the con contributions from Maman and Engelstad and Henrik Paulsen's Conation. Then we get to our Penguin classics. First Homer, Plato, Aristotle's The Anima, Augustine's Confessions, a book of three dialogues by St. Anselm. Very short selection from Thomas Aquinas' Summa Theologica. Descartes' uh, Discourse on Method, Hegel, Introductory Lectures, just the beginning of Hegel's aesthetics, which I think is a useful thing to have and to begin with. I would say you can begin with this before uh, beginning the phenomenology. Nietzsche's Zarathustra, Nietzsche's uh, The Gay Science or The Joyous Science, uh, and here three works by W. Somerset Maugham. These are three novels or novellas. The Magician of Human Bondage and The Moon and Sixpence. Rilke's Letters to a Young Poet, it's a very nice and sweet, gentle uh, spiritual guidance. Um, Hannah Arendt's Eichmann in Jerusalem. And finally, uh, some popular nonfiction works. Uh, the Shape of the New. This was a little bit, I think, uh, I, I found it to be a little bit ideologically driven, like in the spirit of let's save the, the West. Um, but that ideology is transparent enough to make the book um, readable. I mean, you can get to the material looking through the ideology. Uh, humankind discussed this already on the channel. Um, Bertrand Russell, the basic writings. This is a book on a uh, critique of experimental psychology, particularly with regards to the question of human free will, human agency. And Magda Os Osman uh, argues that the, the findings of experimental psychology and neuroscience, they don't rule out the possibility of human freedom. If you're interested in that kind of topic, I would recommend it. Uh, and I, I, of course, I would also recommend my own book. Locke's, uh, unfortunately, abridged essay concerning human understanding. Um, Susan Sontag, Against Interpretation, great essay that begins this collection. I also really like the, the following essay called Unstyle. And finally, Big Data, which is a book I'm um, yet to read. All right. Thank you for your attention. And I will speak with you in the next video.